Ja. Ja. Okej, okay, thanks Lucy. Ja, yeah, come in. It's good to see you again, Mr. Sumner. Phillips, I realize I should have called first. Oh, no, no, no bother. Listen, anything to uh, break up the day. Anything to keep me from doing those charts. <laughs> good. I have some good news for you today. Vaughn didn't tell you where he was going? No, he left here a while ago. Frankly, I thought he went to see you. Oh. Did I say something wrong? I know. The way you two have been lately, I just Could thought... you do me a favor? Could, uh, could you have him call me? Yeah, call me when he gets in. I should be back at my apartment in about 45 minutes because I have a couple of errands to run, okay? Thanks, Dad. To Courtney, honey, wait. What's wrong? Nothing. Then what are you up to? Dad, really? Oh, come on, honey, now tell me. I think you, Mr. Redlin, has been going under the name Jean Foster. See? That proves that I'm right. Nancy, is that all you have? Oh, no, no. I wanted to do a thorough job, and I have. Well, his wife, Carla, came down to the house that I was staying at because his mother Nancy, owns the house. Would you just get on with it? Oh, yeah, sorry. Well, anyway, Carla was on the phone, and she was talking to Jean, and I heard her saying that she, he ought to be very careful because she thought that you were dangerous. Hello? In the kitchen. Oh, hi, Carla. Hi. Is um, Ione back from the clinic yet? I, I, no, she's not. I'm, I'm here alone. How was your day? Fine. Why? Oh, nothing. I was just curious. Why don't you sit down? Anything uh, unusual happened today? You ask that as if you expect me to say yes. Oh, no, no. Did you see Jean? I had lunch with him. Nancy, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I, everything's okay with Jean? Nancy! I was just making some tea. Would you like some tea? Does this have anything to do with the con our conversation about Domi earlier? Uh, Domi? Oh, come on. Don't be silly. <laughs> It does, doesn't it? Uh, no, no. Um, come on, Nancy, you can tell me. Come on. Well, uh, I, I guess I just didn't want you to have the wrong, you know, wrong impression of Domi or anything. How could my having the wrong impression about Domi affect my day or Jean's? Oh, well, I'm not saying it would, but uh, maybe yeah. the best thing for... Hi, hello. How'd it go? Well, good and bad. Yeah, but we got her the most gorgeous dress in all of Kingsley. Oh. That's the good news. The bad news is it cost me a week's salary. Oh, gosh. Well, it's only money. <laughs> Let me see it. Uh, no, not until we do the hair, the makeup, the lights, the camera, the action. Uh, what's all the fuss about? <laughs> hey, this is the first date for the new Lucille Figon. That's right. I heard about your facelift. Oh, let me see. Ooh, girl, it's fabulous. Thank you look you. lovely. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank I you. was going to have one, too, but then I looked in the mirror and I said, why chance ruining a good thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, come on. Now, um, who's the lucky guy? Anyone we know? Yeah, it's Gene. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. <laughs> Real cute. Alex Greeley. Alex? Yep. 
Hey, that's inspired casting, Lucille. Well, not exactly, but it is a lot of hard work. Which, speaking of, shouldn't we get down to it? He's coming in about two days. <laughs> are you absolutely certain that this isn't that dress that the female impersonator wore on the Donahue show? No, are you kidding? I keep telling you, that's the one with a plunging neckline. Okay. Oh, let me help. <laughs> <laughs> night together when she fell asleep in my arms I've never felt like that before no one's ever depended on me like that not emotionally that is of course people are interested in my money or in my family name or my advice but that kind of need the giving was a joy I look forward to giving more still and her feelings for you? Well, I admit they're not exactly the same. But there's a definite change. I mean, just the fact that she's allowed me to take care of her. That says a lot. That says an awful lot. I don't know, I really feel as if her mother's death is, has given her a more realistic outlook on her own life. Oh, yes, but that's only been a few days. Well, I know that, but she's still relying on me. True, the progress is slow, but it's significant. And those first two nights together really showed her how easy it was to break through some of those barriers that have, that have been significant in the past. Well, come on, you're looking at me like I'm crazy. Let's just say that I don't think I can really give you what you came here for. <laughs> What's that? Unqualified approval, congratulations. But I didn't. But I can give you something better. Or at least something more appropriate. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm very happy with the progress you've made. When I think about the way you were when you first came in here, petty, <laughs> selfish, scared, you've grown. And that takes guts. But now you're going to have to do something that takes even more. Wait a minute. I'm not so sure I want to hear this. <laughs> well, you're needing Courtney is wonderful. But now you've got to press on beyond that. And I think there are going to be times when you have to forget about needing her completely. But you've got to keep on loving her. But I do now. No, I'm talking about loving her when her only intent is to make you miserable. Loving her when she's looking for your most vulnerable spot and hits it the hardest. Loving her when all you really want to do is hit back. Well, what do you think I have been doing? Well, good. Remember that. You've experienced a little bit of happiness, but uh, don't think it's over yet. It may very well be, but I wouldn't count on it. Nobody can change that quickly. And you can't be disappointed if things go back to the way they were. You gotta keep on trying. Yeah, you gotta keep on loving her stubbornly. Uh, Deadly Pursuits, right? Yep, and you are looking at this year's next champion. Whoa, you're full of surprises, aren't you? Oh, I can think so. Speaking of surprises, I got a few I'm gonna lay on you on the courts this afternoon. Uh, never forget the immortal words of Han Solo. Don't get cocky, kid. I've got some surprises up my sleeve, too, you know. Uh, who are you, Bullwinkle? Gonna pull a rabbit out of your hat? Uh, first rule. Lull your opponent into a false sense of security. Second rule. Allow your opponent to think he has lured you into a false sense of security. Well, what do you think? Is this good enough to go from the uh, cracked concrete courts of the Kingsley campus to the elite clay courts of your club? Sure. You look fine. <sighs> well... Afraid my cockiness doesn't extend into some of these areas. Well, what's the matter? Are you afraid of playing at the club? Oh, of playing? No way. Just when I walk through the lounge, I don't want to look like uh, Little Miss uh, Blue Collar. <laughs> don't give it a second thought. Well, that's easy for you to say. True. Easier now that I have the psychological edge. Tina Brewbaker's not comfortable at the country club. I'm going to expose that and use it against you every way that I can. You really are merciless, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> Want to try to teach me a lesson? Man, when I get through with you, you are going to look so bad, You're your not even mama's not going to even know who you are. I don't want to hear this, Prescott. And that, coupled with the fact that no matter what my personal life is like, my professor won't give me an extension. I think I'm justified in being a little high-strung. And you don't believe me. 
Still haven't said what you want to see Vaughn about. Should I? It would be nice. Dad. Uh, all right. All right. I understand that um, Peter Davidson came by to express his condolences. <laughs> You're not going to get let up today, are you? Did I say something wrong again? Yes, Peter came by. It's a little surprising, especially... If you're asking me to account for somebody else's actions, I can't. Well, after accusing him of attacking you, I was surprised to find that you were still friendly. I... I interpreted his coming here as an apology. And I tried to accept it as graciously I could. His coming here was a move in the right direction, and I tried to follow suit. But did he come right out and say... I'm sorry. Well, no, he didn't. Well, then how can you be sure of his intentions? Well, obviously, I can't be absolutely positive that he was here. Look, honey, don't you think it's time for you to admit that what happened between... Dad, why are you doing this to me? Earlier, we held each other at Mom's funeral. And now you're grilling me like some kid who's broken her curfew. I'm sorry, Princess, but... I... But what? I obviously don't have any of the answers that you want to hear. It was a noble gesture on Peter's part. Let's just leave it at that. All right, let's... Let's... Unless, of course, you would like to pick up the example and apply it to other situations. What are you talking about? You and Vaughn. I mean, if Peter is big enough to make the best of a bad situation, I don't see why you no. thought can't too. You seem to be forgetting something here. Peter was the aggressor. I'm the one who made the best of a bad situation. All right, then I'm asking you to do it again with Vaughn. Why should I? Because, in spite of what he's been in the past, he has turned out to be a pretty decent young man. He was a great comfort to you. Right after your mother died, you're a big help to me, and that, that's not all he's done. Please. Not a catalog of Vaughn's virtues. They are just recently acquired. Yes, but you will admit that you're seeing him in a different light. I will admit that circumstances have forced him to act differently recently. And you're enjoying that difference. I'm not enjoying anything these past few days. My mother is dead, remember? Look, honey, what I mean I is... know what you mean. Or at least what you're trying to infer, and I won't have any part of it. What I do want is for you to remember that once upon a time, you promised to stay out of my life. And once you do remember that, I would like you to act accordingly. Or not act, as the case may be. Is that understood? I thought we were going to have dinner or something. How nice this is. A whole hour and not one nasty word. <laughs> I'm sorry, Courtney, but I just can't go on with this. Go on with what? Emotional blackmail for a little domestic tranquility. Now, that's what you're doing. You've threatened temper tantrums unless we discuss only what you want to discuss. There's only one topic that's off limits. And that subject touches almost every aspect of your life. Not unless I want it to. I can see that this was a mistake. Thank you again for dinner. You have proven, as always, that no one does a steak like you do. Have Vaughn call me when he gets in? You're going to keep on playing this little game till I give in and play along with you, aren't you? Yes. Courtney. Oh, it's just over the apartment. Maybe Vaughn will like to play along. I'm too tired. Excuse me. Play along? A small disagreement, don't mind him. Oh, a disagreement about what? My mother. I uh, want to have a memorial service with the rest of the family back in Lake Forest, and he doesn't. Maybe he's not up to it. Maybe. Well, is it really that important to you? No, Vaughn, let's just forget about it, okay? No, because if it is, I can understand. No! I... Are you okay? Well, how about Preston? I mean, maybe the stress of all of this... We're fine, Vaughn. Just tired. 
I understand. Say, did you eat yet? Maybe we could go out and get something together. I've eaten. Huh? Uh, we have to talk. I agree. As a matter of fact, that's why I came over About to your apartment. About the annulment. Exactly. I realize, Courtney, and in light of these past few days, it would be wise for us to just drop it. I mean, we've, we've proven to each other that we do have the makings of a good marriage. <laughs> the closeness that we've shared these past few days, it came so naturally. It was easy. We didn't have to force anything. I believe it is, it's those things that are instinctive in a person that are most revealing. And we instinctively reached out for each other. We can't ignore that fact, Courtney. We can't ignore the fact that we'd love each other. And that's why... Well, that's why I think... It might be best for me to move in with you. What do you say? You know, I just don't trust this Vanessa Fazan. Mm. What has Nancy been saying about her? All the usual, you know. Uh, she's the best thing that ever happened to her. Uh, she can do no wrong. Uh, she's warm and loving. You know, what can I tell you? Yeah, real warm, like a snake. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. Would you like me to help with something? Well, yeah, you can get that salad together, honey. Oh, okay, great. <clears throat> so, Carla, you staying for dinner? No, Gina's supposed to stop by and pick me up later. I wonder where he is. Hmm. Gina's coming here? Yeah. Um, I own, I just remembered I have an important phone call to make. Would you mind if I did this later on? I, I, can I use the phone up in sure. your room? Sure. Okay, great, thank you. Now, did you see that? That's the way she was acting earlier. Why do you think she doesn't want to see Jean? I don't know, I can't figure any of it out. But I intend to try, though. Hey! Look what I found hanging around outside. Ain't here, Gene. Oh, that must be Alex. <laughs> Hi there, Iola. Hi. Hi. Colin. Hi. 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 I want to know something, Lenny. Whatever happened to the good old days when a man was uh, greeted properly by his wife at the door? <laughs> when I greet my man properly, I guarantee you it won't be a spectator sport. Hey, hey, uh, hey. Alex, maybe you and I should leave the room. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, my, don't you look so nice. Well, thank you, ma'am. I tried my best. Oh, and I'm sure Lucille has something wonderful in store for you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Hey, you guys ready down there? Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, you sound like a showtime. Mm. Hey. Showtime. Show I am, too. Let's see what's on. All right, this is going to be... Ladies and gentlemen, fresh from her triumphant tour of Kingsley's finest stores. Oh, will you please knock it off? Oh. Mm. oh, thank oh. you. Okay. I'm ready any time you are, Alex. Hey, will you hurry up? I'm coming. I'm coming. Ooh. Hey, what's the matter, Prescott? You beat me, remember? Yeah, I'm I know. I'm the one who should be exhausted here. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It, that's what's so, <laughs> so humiliating. You look like you could play another couple of sets. I could. But you promised to take me out to dinner, remember? To the loser go the spoils. Hey, I didn't lose by that much. I know. Don't rub it in. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh fine. What is it now? The pulled muscle routine? No, no. The uh, ring on the finger routine. Oh, that's a new one. No, my hands swell up when I play tennis and my ring cuts into my finger. Well, the obvious question to me seems to be... Um, why don't you take your ring off before you go play tennis? Maybe huh? I shouldn't let young, impatient co-eds squeeze my hand. Well, if you don't get in the shower, this impatient co-ed's gonna do more than just squeeze your hand. Oh, I don't understand why we had to come back here for this anyway. We could have showered at the, at, the, at the club. No way, no way. We probably would have run into that snooty old biddy on the next court, and I would have probably been tempted to snap her with a wet towel. <laughs> I love a girl that falls to temptation. That's me. Look, um, the towel in the bathroom's clean. I'm gonna go down to Julie's and take my shower. Look, nobody's gonna bust in on me and shoot me with red dye, are they? No. But if you're not ready in about ten minutes, I just might. Shh. I'll be ready. Move in with me? Come uh, on, we should try to be realistic about this. <laughs> I am trying to be realistic. Well, then why are you being so unreasonable? Courtney, come.
Come on, I can't believe that you don't think we have what it takes to make a go of it. I feel sorry for you, Vaughn. I really do. Well, don't feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for yourself. Well, I mean, wh what happened? Did someone get to you? Once again, you've proven that you don't like to do your own thinking, that you'd rather have someone else do it for you. You can't say something like that. Who was it? It's not true. Never mind. I know who it was. Dan Myers, right? He's the only one who stands to profit from any of this. Whatever decision Dan Myers helped me come to was already made. <sighs> I would really like us to, to walk away from this on the friendliest terms possible. Please, help me do that. Courtney, you're asking me to let go of the most important thing in my life. My family, my money, my business. I could lose all of those things and suffer a fraction of the pain that's involved here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please, don't fight the annulment. Neither of us is really up to it. Good night.